Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for June 4th through June 10th. This is for the sign of Aries. Uh, I was going to get one of these cards, okay, one of these cards um, from Romance Angels and one from the Whisperer, Whispers of Love and then break into the tarot reading. If the card flips over, you get to see it now. Otherwise, we reveal it at the end. This one flipped over as I was shuffling, so I'm going to take it. Okay, children, your love life is being affected by children. You know how that resonates with you. Okay, you do. So I don't even need to go into that right now. We're going to see what else comes up. This is for the sign of Aries. Generally, my readings are love readings, so just keep that in mind. If you aren't looking for love, if you, if you, you know, don't want to be in a relationship, then you, this reading probably isn't for you. Okay. So this is for the sign of Aries for the first full week of June. Keep in mind the timing is fluid. Uh, I do accept private readings. The information is below. This one flipped over too. You're the first one to have them both flip over, I do believe. Show simple acts of kindness. A simple act of kindness can energize you and bring happiness to those around you. Interesting. Okay, Aries, for the first week of June, what does Aries need to know? Aries. Now I say this is a love reading, but you can apply it to your work if you want. If you can try, see what happens. This is what I'm picking up for you. Keep in mind that this could have happened, maybe happening now, or could be happening in the near future. And this can also be vice versa. Okay, it could be you or the person that you're dealing with. The fool which is sometimes uh, represented by the sign of Aries. It's the first card in the deck. You're the first sign of the zodiac, okay? This is about taking a risk, having a faith, starting um, a new journey without bringing the past baggage with you. It's about starting over. So perhaps that's what you're focusing on. You may be focusing on starting over. Um, something has been stalled for you. You've been procrastinating, huh? Somebody has been procrastinating. There's been a lack of rebirth, a lack of healing, a lack of renewal. But And, you know, you can only stay stuck for so long. I feel like there's been a period of uh, lack of self-love, lack of energy, repression even, you know. Somebody has gone through a period of depression, perhaps. That's what it is. So they've been procrastinating this new start, even though you know you need to, right? You know you do. So it feels like this week, you may do that. You may start this new journey, okay? This can even be a new spiritual journey. Whatever this is, you guys are about to um, have a new beginning, okay? Wherever you're been, you've been at, it hasn't been emotionally fulfilling. It hasn't. There's been a lack of emotion. You need to get out there. You need to have some fun. You need to follow your dreams, okay? Where, where, what's been going on hasn't been any fun, so it's time for you to go have some fun. It is. Um, you may feel like you've been uh, literally unavailable to offer or to be happy. There's a lack of happiness here, okay? There is. Lack of abundance, because lack of abundance in yourself. I'm not talking about materialistically, I'm talking about inner abundance, okay? Some of you are being called to, to stop procrastinating and take that next step. Take the risk, whatever this is about. You've been avoiding it. You know what the truth is. This is avoiding the truth. You've been indecisive. You've been procrastinating. These now you've got two procrastinating cards right next to each other. You see the truth. You know you need to take that step. But there's a lot of emotional turmoil in regards to what's ahead. You know, fear of the unknown. 
wherever you're at, there's a lot of criticism, huh? I don't know if you're criticizing or the person you're dealing with is criticizing, but you are dealing with a shady individual. Somebody who isn't quite as honest as you'd like. Now, I don't know if it's you or the other person. This can always be vice versa. And I want to let you cross watchers know I don't want to hear any bashing down below. Keep the names of the other signs out of your comments. Thank you. So you're, there is a, a liar or a cheater or a sneaky, shady individual that is very dramatic. They bring drama to your life, put it that way. They, they're dishonest. You're dealing with somebody who's dishonest. You know they're dishonest, and that's why you're emotionally discontent. You know this person is a sneaky son of a gun. You know it. They're up to no good. You're dealing with somebody who's up, you know it, and they've caused you to probably retreat. That's what it looks like. But I think you're about ready to move on because it's time to be happy, right? It's time for you to broaden your horizons. It's time to, for you to find that backbone within you to take that step that is needed. So this is a week of, of doing the right thing for you. This is a card of integrity. This page of pentacle brings focus backbone and practicality to what needs to be done, okay? You need to do the right thing for you, even if it means starting at the bottom, okay? So I think, or starting lower than you were, okay? It's like learning new skills, learning to do this, um, starting over, building a new foundation elsewhere, Okay, so I feel like you guys I need to really, if you haven't yet, you need to find that backbone to rise above this negative situation to bring happiness back to your life. It's time to move on. Move on to find happiness. Find the moral backbone to do the right thing. Find your focus to rise above it. Okay, you're dealing with somebody who you who probably... They may even verbally attack you, okay? You may be feeling like you're... Con they make you walk on eggshells. That's what it looks like to me. I mean, that's what it looks like. You're dealing... You know, and you're... You are contemplating. You've been procrastinating moving on. You have been. But I think that you knew that you've had to for quite some time. Now, I don't know what this is. But it is time to take a risk. It is. That zero fool card is... It's time for a new journey, okay? It is. But that fear of the unknown is the culprit that's holding you back, okay? So that's why you need to focus and find your backbone to face the fear, all right? Somebody is, is sneaking around behind your back, doing something. I don't know what they're doing, but they are sneaking around. Somebody's not emotionally content, whether that's you or the other person. Somebody ain't happy. First week of June, June 4th through the 10th. Now, I'm not sure if it's children even. You could have, uh, you know, there could be children of your partner or yourself that is causing problems. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Because these pages can be children and you have children here. So there, there could be children that are up to no good. So just keep, that could certainly be the case. This is a love reading. You guys have to make a solid decision. You have to make the decision. You can't keep sitting on the fence. It's time to make that decision. Or the decision has already been made to look at this from a new perspective or to stop struggling. You know, you've been hanging on to a situation. You've been stuck. You've been in limbo waiting for something to change, waiting for somebody else to give their part or to do something. And now you're at this crossroads where you actually need to take that step to move forward. It looks like you've been going through some sort of mental turmoil about um, what you should do, where you should go, what's the best option, you know. But wherever you're at right now, there's definitely some discontent here. And you have to step outside of your comfort zone. That's all there is to it. You have to go after what you deserve. You know, somebody may be, you 
you've been too generous. Okay, put it that way. You have been too generous with, a, with an individual, and now that it seems like they're taking advantage of you. They're taking advantage of your generosity, and you know they are. You know what I'm saying? You do. I, I know that you know. It's like you're not, you're seeing things clearly. I, I don't see confusion. I see clearly. You guys are seeing that you, and you've been hanging on and postponing this, this outcome because I think that, There's going to be some sort of rejection. You're probably going to have to push somebody away, okay? So, I mean, I don't know if this is a child or or a lover or a friend or something, but it feels like somebody has been causing you some emotional discontent and they, it isn't serving you. It isn't. You are definitely at a crossroads. Right now you're sitting on the fence, like I said earlier, before this card even came out. You have two paths. Do you stay stuck in this situation or do you move forward? Do you let it go? Do you walk away? Do you walk away? That is the question. This week you are contemplating walking away from a situation and that is the absolute truth. And whether you want to or not, it's on the table. Okay, it is on the table. I feel like um, there's a lot of restlessness here about this decision, about you know, letting go about moving on and, and this moving on, you know, is going to, is going to hurt another person. And I think that you know that, but you have to do what's right for you. Okay. You do. It's time for your happiness to happen. Okay. It is. So what else does Aries need to know? You do have a new door opening for you. You do. It's up to you whether you walk through it or not, Aries. Okay, you do have a new door opening. Wherever you're at right now, there isn't happiness. But on the other side of this door, there is. But you lack the courage. You lack the courage and the confidence and the strength and the willpower and the discipline to take action. All the while, your energy has been zapped by whatever this situation is. It's time for your justice. It's time to do the right thing. The, the justice card is about integrity. We have integrity here and integrity here. It's time. You know, the justice card is also about finality, the final decision. You think about the courtroom, when the justice system, when they make the judgment, when they, you know, serve justice, that it's final. It's final. It's, and this is final decision, and this is final decision. It is, in reverse. It, it's time to make this final. You know, and if you're still, you're still thinking about it, obviously, with the Hermit card. This is somebody who is really taking the time to reflect, to think, to focus, to come up or figure this plan out. What's going to happen next? This, it feels as though you have become self-aware. You know exactly what I'm talking about as you're listening to me. You do. There is clarity here. You are seeing things clearly. All you have to do now, Aries, is take that next step. Start that new journey. It could be a new spiritual journey, whatever it is. Start that new journey with faith. Take a risk. Happiness is on the other side. So it feels like this is a week of finding the courage and the confidence and the strength that you are lacking to take this step. You guys have a new beginning right in front of you. It's up to you. You have to, there's decisions all over here. Decisions, 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 decisions. You have to decide. Do you want to go through that new door or do you want to stay stuck in this situation that is less than emotionally abundant emotionally abundant both reversed and here's your new door but it's like you're trying to block these emotions you are you're trying to block these feelings thinking they aren't real they are real they are real Blocking them is causing repression. And remember I said earlier, retreat. Retreat is here as well. You probably feel like withdrawing, retreating. I can't, I'm ready to go. But I'm scared. 
It's time to go. Your love life is being affected by children. Maybe you don't want to leave because of the children. And that could be the case. Maybe, whatever this is, it does have to do with children. I don't know however it resonates with you. Show simple acts of kindness. A simple act of kindness can energize you and bring happiness to those around you. Be kind to yourself. And everything else will fall into place. I promise it will. The people that don't support you when you're kind, right, either to them or to yourself, aren't supposed to be in your circle. Keep in mind, somebody may need your help this week. Maybe a child needs some money. I mean, I'm just saying that could certainly happen. Somebody could be, I mean, that could, maybe there's legal issues and somebody, you know, needs to pay a fine. I don't know what this is. I'm just saying. Some, somebody could come to you and ask for money and maybe, because I see that. So maybe somebody, you know, you're being called to, you know, maybe you should let them. I don't know. I don't know. Anyhow, um, this is what I have for the first week of June. It's about integrity more than anything. Doing the right thing. Doing the right thing. Talk to you later.